Welcome. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us on the empty side of the table. Today we're going to do a quick review and card reveal of The Wizard's Tarot by The Wizard of Barge. You can find them online. They do lots of uh, t-shirts and sweatpants and things like that with this very distinctive style of art. Very um, D&D centric in some cases. I do I do like this art, this artwork a lot. Reminds me a bit of uh, Big Daddy Roth, the guy who did uh, Rat Fink. And then you've got uh, other games that have similar style of art like uh, The Battle Wizards from Cryptozoic. And of course, this is just, uh, I'm guessing, artwork that's influenced by the uh, Big Daddy Roth, but it is original in its own way. So it says on the back here, in a world of endless possibilities, how will you decide your fate? You won't. But if you dare ask, you will, you will forever be burdened by the truth of your destiny. Are you brave enough to face your future? Then on the inside here. Welcome. This deck can be read using, is that using? Yes, this deck can be read using beasts as wands, curses as cups, cults as pentacles, and swords as swords. Proceed with caution, for this deck has been imbued with the internal cosmic knowledge of the wizard. Happy reading. Dakota K. TK Wizard of Barge, 2019. Even the inside of the box is printed. So this is what the back looks like. I don't believe these are in order. We have here the Eight of Cults. The Nine of Beasts. The Nine of Cults. The Nine of Curses. The Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Curses. The Knight of Cults. The Knight of Beasts. King of Swords. I suppose I don't have to read these out. They're perfectly legible, yeah? Alright. So let's try that then. I like this one. This is uh, the major arcana here, yeah? <laughs> this strength one's cool. I forgot I got a kettle on. Um, if it starts whistling, I'm going to have to get up and turn it down. I apologize in advance. That one's cool. <laughs> this one's cooler. And there it is. I'll be right back. I apologize. Okay, let's get back at it. So 
It's also a animated series. I'm not sure how new or old it is. Called Super Jail. Has a similar artwork to this. It looks so sad. Mm, that one's cool. Reminds me a bit of the creature of the Black Lagoon. I wonder if some of this imagery is a tad bit explicit. Maybe I should put a uh, an adult label on it. What are you buying? Next up, hopefully today, we'll uh, do an unboxing of a board game we received for Christmas. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, this one's cool. Alright, so that was a brief uh, review, I guess, and card read through of the Wizards to Row. From Wizard of Barge. Actually, I suppose I should do a, a quick review of the cards themselves. I mean, as far as how they're made and everything like that. Let's see. Pretty standard. Glossy. Edges are nice. You don't see any, uh, Perforations where they might have been torn. Looks like these were cut, which is much preferred. Yeah, so not bad as far as cards go. Right, one more time. Wizards Throw by Wizards of Barge. Hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous new year. Stay healthy, always be kind.